what do you do? That has to be the most asked question any of us get, whether we're in a social setting or in a business environment. Of course, with this On Purpose Business Minute, I want to address it from a business point of view. So let's pretend you're asked the question, what do you do? Now, last week I talked about my disdain for elevator speeches, and a number of you were able to email me and share with me your opinions, and thank you for doing that. I love this kind of dialogue that we're able to have with one another. But as I said to you, I wanted to give you a different technique. I call it the do-do dialogue, kind of like this, where you say the do-do dialogue. What happens is somebody asks you the question, what do you do? And then what you do is you take that, that question and you turn it around and you ask them a question with, that begins with the uh, word do. Therefore, it's what do you do? And then you say, do you know? And in the course of asking this, do you know, you are in essence sizing up the person, trying to assess how, what they might understand about your business or about you, or how you might be able to help them, or how they might be able to send you a referral. So let me give you an example. My wife, Judith, she is a health coach. So if somebody says to her, what do you do? She would often say, I'm a health coach. Well, they don't really understand what that is. So now what I've taught Judith to do is that she will say to somebody, uh, look, in the, look them over and maybe figures out that they might be carrying an extra 15, 20, 25 pounds, something like that. And she might say to them, do you know how people are often carrying an extra 25 pounds or something since they've graduated from high school or college and they just have seemed to put it on and can't seem to take it off? Well, I help people like that to, to lose that weight, to keep it off, and to really develop habits of health that will keep them that way for the rest of their life. And most people go, wow, that's pretty cool. How do you do that? And so then she goes in and she shares with them what's going on. What it does is it gives them an opportunity to engage. On the other side of the coin, if Judith is looking at somebody who's fairly large, let's just say obese, she might look at them and say, as they ask the question, what do you do? She would come back and say, gee, uh, do you know how a lot of people are struggling these days with their weight and a lot of times they might end up with high blood pressure or they're on diabetes medication or they have high cholesterol and they're really worried about that? Well, I'm in the business of helping people like that to get healthy and to get to a healthy weight and then to develop habits of health so that they can really live the life that they would like to live. So what's happening is she's taking the what do you do and then she's saying do you know. That's the do-do method. Uh, that you're able to then create a dialogue with somebody. It opens up uh, a question for them to follow up as opposed to saying, I'm a health coach with a period. So take the question, turn it into a question by sizing up the person and then entering into a dialogue. You'll be amazed at how much people will begin to share with you, ask questions, and provoke a conversation where they're actually leading and questioning you as opposed to you having to drag or try to force yourself into something that feels unnatural. I hope this method of the do-do uh, dialogue really helps you and gives you a comfort that you're really not selling, you're sharing and you're understanding where somebody is and therefore you're able to really help them. And in that, doing that, then you get to be on purpose because you get to do more of what you do best more profitably. This is Kevin McCarthy hoping that you too will be on purpose.